Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel and you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes and I turned all my levels way down so hopefully I won't be peeking today. We're at the beach now, I'm a beached wheel today and I hear that the beach is kind of the de facto level 1 of the game, which makes a lot of sense because when you start the game, if you just don't go to the map and you just hit the play button, then it takes you straight to the beach, which is quad quirks on the key. Looks alliterative doesn't sound so alliterative we've got jumpers bombers flamethrowers we got the super lane but 15 of everything 15 of everything ought to make it easy to take down this first level whatever is going on here so we can kind of use whatever we want and get going on this i think i'm just going to jump right into this level without too much thinking about it so let's go ahead and get up to some quad quirks let's let's impress ourselves some ladies there are three entrances here my goodness and where is the exit? I assume the exit is the sandcastle. And uh, there is a lot of flagging going on. Um, some of these guys can just uh, walk straight to the exit. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. They ought to just be able to walk through here without too much trouble. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's go ahead and hit it. I think we'll want a flamethrower through this bit. What's going on over here? Yeah, we can just pretty much use flamethrowers to get out of here, it looks like. Oh my, yeah, this is super easy. Holy cow. We can just blow fire through buckets here. And I think all we have to do... Okay, well, they got stuck in there, so we'd have to stomp out of there, I suppose. Or maybe even just do that. That's, that's a cool way out, too. It even leaves a little bit of pixelation for them to walk on, which I think everybody is yipping to the exit at this point. That was... That was like the just dig of, <laughs> holy moly, it's the just dig of Lemmings 2 levels. You can play around with whatever you want. A pretty consequence free level, all told. So let's skip to the end of that one. Wow, we are having a good day so far. We might we might get through the beach tribe pretty quickly if they're all kind of like that. Cut through, the, cut through the umbrella here. Yeah, they're making it through that. Everything is going just fine. And yes, we do need to make it to the sand castle that is confirmed well there we go that was that was an extremely simple level probably the simplest one we've played yeah that was uh yeah saving a gold medal was not quite as much of a of a what am i trying to say a gold a gold medal a gold rescue attempt was not quite as satisfying an accomplishment as it has been uh in the past uh, some of those Egyptian outdoor levels really made you earn it. Maybe the beach wheel too, but we're not quite at that point yet. The barley mow. The barley mow. Where we're mowing through fields of barley. And we've got... Okay. Looks like we've got many fewer tasks this time. So here we're going to have... Ah, uh, boy. I hope we don't have to use the jetpack. I'm not really a huge fan of the jetpack. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I do love the laser blaster. I do love me some laser blasting. Some some lightsaber antics. Sorry, laser sword probably. Sand pouring. Okay, we've got. Uh, okay, we can probably get someone out of here with a. Okay, we can probably get someone out of here with a jetpack. That should be fine. So what have we got going here? We got one roper. Where is the where is the sand castle exit? And it's down in the lower left corner, I guess. Oh, it's right below us. Oh, that's kind of odd. So. Why don't we, uh, okay, see what we got going on here. We got bashers. If we fall from here, it's going to be bad news, um, but maybe we can get a stun going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and jetpack someone. All right. And go ahead and fan them to, I thought I had the fan working. There we go. That should run out any second now. The jetpack lasts about 10 seconds, I think. So, let's see. What have we got going here? We can, uh... Looks like we might be able to save people with the... We could pour some sand. We could bash our way out. Uh, we have the glue pourer. The glue pourer should work uh, really well here, actually. Uh, the glue pourer might be a really good way to do this. Let's see about it. We'll go ahead and uh, start pouring from about here. We may take a little bit of a long way around to this one. I hope I don't overcomplicate this too badly. Yeah, the glue pourer works really well for this particular bit. 
Okay. Actually, what we may be able to do then is... I don't really have a digging task, per se. Um, can you walk on the clouds, or are those just background? That might be good to know. Alright, go ahead and pour some more. Oh yeah, we're going to be filling in lots of little bits here. Um, okay, I want to see... Will he touch the cloud if I fall? They cannot walk on clouds. And that was bad news. Okay, so... Let's try this again. Maybe not... Maybe not get so far out of the way. I think... I think jetpacking to get him out was probably the move. Get up. Get up over that thing. Come on. It was so easy the first time. There we go. Okay, just barely made that. Yeesh. Okay. Alright, I do want to test real quick. It may... I don't... I want to see... I wasn't quite sure if it was just not aligned or if clouds are actually background clouds would make sense as being a background object but yeah they're backgrounds so why don't we can we save you with a we cannot save you with a jetpack you cannot jetpack in midair which seems to me to be like what's the point of the jetpack if you can't just click on them in midair and save them that way okay there you go you can you can drop off at any time you like Let's go ahead and just bash from, like, right here. That still might be too high, but I kind of want to see. I think I might be forced to go around. That's, yeah, that's a, oh, hey, no, that's a stunner fall. That's very nice. Okay, so what we want here, then, we might be able to just, uh, might be able to just bash out, then. I think if we use glue pours here, one more basher and one more basher up top, yeah, that should do it. So let's try from here. Yeah, that's how glue pouring works. That's right. That's good. Okay, I thought that would just make a bridge. So that's excellent. Very good. And then we can just go from here. Yeah. Bashing and glue pouring is all we need. So let's go ahead and uh, bash our way out. And that should save everybody. A little bit of a walk, but we've got eight whole minutes to do it. A lot of dizzy stars seeing lots of stars a whole galaxy of stars being made here oh hey we might actually want to bash through the umbrella that would be that would be one more important step to victory let's do it let's get in there okay all right we have bashed our way through all this other stuff really superfluous seeing a lot of really su i thought we would be laser blasting to save them at one point and i guess theoretically we could have done that but it would have just gone straight up, maybe made too far a fall distance. That could have been really bad. But as it is, let's just fast forward and make our way out of here. Boy, we are cranking through levels today at this pace. This might even be the first four-level day we've had so far. don't want to jinx it or anything, but this is going spectacularly so far. I'm, I'm really impressed. So yes, this must be like, this must be the easy start them off with something nice tribe the beach tribe which makes sense because a beach is a place where you know you're really easy going and you're there to chill not to do a bunch of hard work what's up next what have we got coming now in level three cannonball four minutes to do this one still got most of the uh familiar stuff the kayaker hang glider makes a recurring appearance we've got archers again i know how to use archers now might be practicing some archery at the beach today we'll see about that how will we're gonna make a cannonball we're gonna make a cannonball and hopefully not a belly flop how are we gonna do that okay so okay obviously we're gonna be kayaking a little bit here um how are we gonna make a how are we gonna make a uh how are we gonna make a, a thing that saves everybody here though i gotta maybe if we okay maybe if we bomb at the start there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That should keep everybody in for now. Uh, yeah, you're drowning, but you need to kayak. Very good. Okay, yeah, that keeps everybody held at bay for now. That's awesome. So that person gets out. And then I think we're to going to pour glue, maybe. No, we can just laser blast everybody out, probably. Uh, if I wait till everybody is... Okay, let's see. We're going to hang glide, I think, maybe. We're going to be doing some, uh, some hang gliding. Now, is kayaking a recurring skill? That's one thing I need to see about. I think we're going to be laser blasting everybody out. So, 
Let's kind of make sure we've got a place where he can run. He can't. He doesn't really have a place where he can roam around freely. Uh, so I'm going to be hang gliding, I bet. Will he change direction if he hang glides, or will... All right, let's see about that. Okay, so he just hits. And then, okay, I see. I got gotcha. you. All right, so that means we're going to be... I want to see if kayaking is a recurring tool first. No, kayaking is a one-time use. Just had to do a little bit of science there. That's okay. We just want to do experiment briefly. Okay, all right. Blow you a little farther out into the lake there. Yeah, it's definitely going to behoove me to go ahead and get everybody... Okay, I want to make sure all 60 lemmings out are out probably before I go laser blasting everyone to safety. But I do like the... I do like how the hang glider kind of... And I think I can manipulate... I think I can manipulate the the hang glider with the fan also. So if I wanted him to like walk around here, but I don't really see much point in that. I've got to kind of, do I have any jumping or hopping? Uh, what does a diver do? A diver might be able to navigate the water, but I don't know. I don't quite know how the diver works really. I do have jumpers. That's nice. Uh, I think I'll just, I think what I'll just do is go ahead and, uh, hang glide over to the to the left yeah I can kind of get some lift going there with that oh god okay yeah I want to save my guy yeah that's okay that's enough of a boost for me okay so let's go ahead everybody most of the lemmings I think will be out at this point but I think if we just go ahead and uh, if they crowd into a hole here no that's not what I wanted you to do just yet Okay, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. He would yippee right before he's able to save them. Um, what is... Let's play around with divers while we're at it. Do they do anything special? Well, they're not diving through the ground, so... That doesn't do me much good. Okay, yeah, that almost gets them through, but not quite. Um, nothing else really in a digging capacity helps out, so... We might be getting them... Might be able to get them down to here and they walk out through here and maybe pour a little glue over the hole. That might be something that works out. But I don't know. Two bombers is not going to quite get them into the little nook here. That might be what we need laser blasting for. Okay, this time when we use the hang glider, let's try using the fan to give the lemming some height. Okay, he got up onto there. And now this time, let's try blowing him upwards a little. There we go, yeah. Yes! Perfect landing! Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try laser blasting. I don't want to hit steel, so I'm going to do a quick bombing right here. There we go. And that should allow me just enough room to get in there, punch through with the laser. There we go. Okay. Alright, and now I should be able to pour glue over this gap and that gets everybody to the exit. Ah, another, another pretty easy one. All right, I'm very impressed. Okay, but I want to see... Okay, this is going to this is gonna take some doing right here. There... No! No, they fell through. Well, that was a little too quick. But I think glue pouring is what I'm supposed to do right there because that fills that in pretty much perfectly. So as soon as somebody turns around, basically, is when I need to get to that. But I was hoping for kind of one guy to go ahead with that. Um, but I think I've got kind of the right idea with this. Okay, I do have jumpers, so maybe I'm able to get one out ahead of the pack here. If I jump at the edge of the platform here. Oh yeah, that jumper can get way, way in front of where he needs to. Okay, so that one just goes, boom, there you go. And that gets way ahead of the pack. All you needed was a jumper to get out ahead of the bunch. That's all that was needed. And another easy level down. This is all just decoration over here. This is... You know, the levels in Lemmings 2, this is something I'm noticing. The levels in Lemmings 2 are a lot more, like, constructed. It's just one piece on top of one piece on top of one piece. And you don't see a lot of, maybe with the Outdoor Tribe you did, but you don't see a lot of pieces just kind of crammed together to make a, a natural looking land formation. It's just very, very tightly, like, one piece snaps to one piece, snaps to one, 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 one. It's a lot more... 
It's a lot more, you can see a lot more of the pieces in Lemmings 2 than you could in Lemmings 1. And I'm not saying that's better than Lemmings or worse than Lemmings. It's just, it is what it is. It's just something I've been noticing. We've definitely got time for one more level, I think. We can, we can have our first four level episode today. The, the beach is turning out really, uh, really simple so far. Now watch me say that and then watch that bite me in the foot right here. Coastal suction function. 12 jumpers and runners, one kayaker, two laser blasters, and two bazookas. What is the suction function of the coast if you account for X and divide by Y and go over the universal asymptote? What's going on there? Let's, uh, let's find out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we've got the chain. Well, that's fun. Okay, well, they're all... They all look locked in, but they might go right under that ball also. No, they're they're locked right into that ball. Okay, so what's going to happen then is we're just going to have one person. We're just going to need one person to hop over the... Okay, yeah, it's going to take a runner to hop over the beach ball. I figure that might be the case. We No, wrong one. Okay. Well, we still have, we still have a pretty good beat on the runner, I think. There we go. Yes, there we go. Okay, and then you're going to jump once more. Okay, you're going to jump to the chain. There we go. All right, so here we go. I'm going to have to... Okay, we can blow this really hard by doing the wind thing, it said. Um, can I release a lemming by doing the jump off the chain? Let's see. I don't think I can just jump off the chain. No, I can't. No, ah, uh, no, that's bad, and I think he's facing the right, so he'll do the kayak to the right. Okay, yeah, that's not quite how that's supposed to work. Okay, so runner it is. You're going to be running and then jumping. There we go. Why don't we jump a little later this time to get you lower on the chain? Exactly like that. Exactly how, yes, that's exactly how that should be done. Very good job, you silly, silly lemming, you. Okay, so why don't you... There we go. I think that might be as good as we're going to get it. Let's, let's see, though. Okay. So once again, swing this. Do the, do the weather vane. Okay, and then pause. No, because then you just kind of get dropped off of it. I thought I could release him and it would kind of swing him off. Maybe I need to swing... Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe what I need to do is swing this. So that... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Holy moly. I can't believe that actually kind of works. <laughs> wow, you got to be quick with that. But it does work, so... Well, that didn't work. I didn't realize that would be a trap. That's, uh... Maybe we can jump over the trigger point, though. But, uh, knowing that works is, uh, pretty wild. Okay, so... And then immediately go to fan... Okay... Yeah. Nope, too slow. Too slow. Okay. Okay, it's fine, though. Should be a... Wow, it swings between... That's interesting. It swings between uh, uh, wideouts. That's really interesting. Okay, get swinging. There you go. Okay. Okay, no. I, I want the fan off now so I can push the button. Oh, hey, wow, that barely worked. Okay, but barely working still works. Okay, yeah, just jump over the trigger point. Easy. All right, so once we go into the water, we'll be kayaking across... All right, uh-huh. And I think... Okay, yeah. Yeah, we should just be able to kayak you to safety. And then once you get to here, once you get... Okay, yeah, this is going to be a little dicey, but... Yeah, once we get to, like, here... No, a little lower. Um... Maybe we would want a bazooka up there at that point, because... Huh. Because I'm afraid if he goes down... Oh yeah, that's 
bad. Oh, well, that's actually a pretty good place to go, really. That kind of gets everybody in safe. Nobody's going to go kersplat from there, so I can manage that. I can handle that. <laughs> okay, that was some, uh, that was, we were, we were, uh, definitely doing some antics on that one. But I enjoy that. Now that I know how the chain works, if I didn't know how the chain worked, I would have had a lot more trouble with that. But, uh, as it stands, I kind of got it all running together at the same time. Very interesting way to do that. Uh, and I, I am enjoying the beach so far. It is kind of a break from the difficulty of the Egyptian and some of the outdoor like the last two levels of outdoor were difficult so far the beach has been uh, pretty easy going as you would expect a beach to be so join me next time we still have all 60 beach lemmings that's going to do it for us for today though we're almost already halfway through the dang old beach tribe i can hardly believe it that was that was really really easy now if the whole game was that easy well, then that wouldn't be very satisfying. But, you know, it's nice to have a breather day every now and then.